Okay, let's do a check-in for He Knew He Was Right, which is, uh, I guess, a, 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 a reflection on um, She Knew She Was Right. I think that was the name of the other novel. These, All these Knew He Were Right novels are... They they knew there were right novels or are, are, are going to get 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 confused here, but this is he knew he was right, uh, and it was uh, a novel uh, Anthony Trollope novel published in 1869, so 99 years before I was even born, um, and uh, it is it opens with um, um, Louis Trevelyan is traveling. Uh, it goes to the was it the Mandarin Islands, meets uh, the governor with his eight daughters and marries one of the daughters, marries Emily, uh, and she becomes Emily Tr- Trevelyan. Uh, and um, you know, there's some mothers like like well, she's got kind of a strong personality. Um, you know, hopefully things will be okay there. And and he's like, oh, I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm sure it'll be okay, darling. It's like, you know, she, he's pretty happy that, you know, one of his eight daughters is getting taken off his hands by someone who seems to be fairly wealthy uh, and doesn't expect a dowry. <laughs> so he's pretty pretty thrilled by the match that way. And indeed, it seems to start off pretty good. They go back to London. Uh, there is a uh, baby, a uh, baby girl. Um, but... Into all this comes General Osborne, a 50-year-old guy who's got a free and easy manner with the ladies, and maybe a little too free and easy, and has got a reputation as a philanderer, uh, even though he wouldn't consider himself someone who's like, you know, trying to make trouble in people's marriages, but he likes young, pretty women. Uh, and he loves he loves chatting with them and making kind of free with them, and uh, this is at least in one case that gets cited in the thing, caused the poor husband who wasn't able to get him out of their drawing room to have to take his wife off to uh, Naples, to you know prevent that way because it was basically he was ruining his wife's reputation, and now General Osborne is a friend of the governor, uh, Mar. Marmaduke, Marmaduke or something like that, uh, the governor of the uh, Mandarin Islands. And um, so he's known Emily for hun- good hunks of her life well, with a 20-year 20, 20 gap in there. But um, so he's making himself free of coming to visit her and chatting up her. And it's not going down well with her, her husband, Louis. And he finds himself actually talking rather sharply to her when it probably would have been more beneficial if he just had some sort of gentle words with her, put his arm around her waist and had some gentle words. But no, he talks, he talks sharply to her and he activates that anger of hers. And um, even though he's, she's got a uh, younger sister, Nora, who um, it's like, kind of like, you know, you should really just sort of obey him and just, you know, that it's like, no, she's like, no, he insulted me. He insults me. And um, the general, Os- Osborne, makes things worse by coming to the house yet again. Um, coming and uh, because Nora gets called away, spending his time with her alone in a room, like together in a room alone, which seems a Victorian society. A man and a woman do not hang with each other alone, uh, especially if the, the woman is young and pretty and stuff like that. But he says like, oh, I'll, you know, and she's, because she's got a purpose. She wants him to uh, help her uh, her governor father get invited to the, uh, to uh, the commons, to the commons, to the parliament, to a committee that's interviewing governors. It's like, could you get him to come, like invite father, because that way he would get a free vacation out of the whole thing. And he hasn't had one in a long time. He says, yes, I'll do it. But on one condition, you don't tell your husband about it. It's like, why not? Because, well, I wouldn't do this for any other living human being, but I'll do it for you. But I don't want it to get around that I'm doing it. And if I you mention it to your husband, it might get around in all the clubs and stuff like that. And she doesn't like the fact that he's like, this is, he would only do it for one human being, living human being. And that's her, that's intimacy. He's also calling her by a Christian name, which he had done when she was much younger, but is now doing it now. 
and had done it once in front of the husband, but now is doing it without the husband around and doesn't like that. But she really wants to, her her father and mother to be able to come 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 to London, and this is the best way. So she said she agrees to it. Unfortunately, um, uh, Lewis goes out to the club and immediately hears, "Oh, you hear that uh, General Osborne is getting uh, is 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 getting or his friend." Uh, a free trip into into the in, in uh, into London from the uh, co- the colony, there. It's like, and so he's like, Oof. and it's like, yeah, what arrangements on that? And they go out to a they go out to a party, and at a party where um, Milbra, the Duchess, Lady Duchess Milbra, tries to warn um, Emily, like. Osborne is not someone you want to hang around with, but she's like, no, he's my best friend. He's like, I've known him forever. You would never speak a word against him and sort of stymies her there. So she says the same thing to Lewis, who is like, "Mm, yes, I know you're doing this as a friend. And it's like, I really hate to have someone have to warn me about my wife's behavior of a behavior I already know I don't like. And as they're going home, he speaks sharply to her again forbidding her from seeing him and like you will obey me in this it's like you think i will and it's like and she dissolves in tears and rushes up but it's like uh she we've we've got a really good really good dynamic right off the bat of a thing and i i have to say it's interesting of my um i guess it kind of i have to say it brings back memories of my own periods in my own marriage of being the jealous husband and the kind of the, there's definitely kind of an anger that comes in there, a possessiveness, um, which is not pretty and pretty ugly uh, and also very primal in a way. And um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Lewis handles that. Um, I mean, I think in the end, for myself, I just it was like, okay, I have to trust, I have to trust my partner, and try and take a step back, and probably not be alone in a room with the dude in question because uh, that can quite piss me off. Um, but yeah, to trust my wife, to trust, well, yeah, my partner, my wife, Jaja. And yeah, yeah, that it kind of definitely stirred up those feelings right off the bat. So it's interesting that uh, both, you know, seeing it in Lewis and also kind of seeing it, ooh, I can feel it kind of bubbling up in myself. It's like, yeah, you, you get those feelings. And it's like, ah, it's pretty intense. All right. Well, we'll leave it there. That's the first three chapters of He Knew He Was Right. <laughs> and we'll go from there. More videos later.